In this video, I'll talk about the potential energy graph of a conservative system. We have a 5 kilogram mass here, and this mass is moving along x-axis. As it is moving along an axis, there is a bump, or what we can say, it is moving on a hill. So when it is moving on a hill, the height changes. If the height changes, the potential energy of the system changes. This is just an analogous visualization. What is happening, in fact, here, the potential energy of the object is changing along the x-axis. The And this is, again, a conservative system. When I say a conservative system, that means the total mechanical energy of the object remains constant. It does not change as the position changes. So we need to find out what is the potential energy at the different location and what is the speed at the different location. The other information that is given is at the origin, right at here, at this origin, the kinetic energy of the object is 20 Joule. That's the kinetic energy given. So now let's find out what is the kinetic energy of the object at 4 meter or at this point. What I just said here, the total energy does not change. It doesn't matter where the location is for a conservative system. So the total energy has to remain constant. That means the total energy at this point origin and the total energy at this point at 4 meter has to be exactly same. That's what I'm writing down here. The total energy at origin has to be equal to total energy at 4 meter or at any other location. This is called the conservation of energy and this holds for a conservative system. Uh, in fact, it is a total mechanical energy which is kinetic energy plus potential energy. So again, kinetic energy plus potential energy at origin has to be equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy at this location at 4 meter. And we already given that the kinetic energy is 20 joule at the origin. You see here, the kinetic energy of the object at the origin is 20 joule. So it's given. And now, what is the potential energy at this point? So that where this potential energy graph comes into play. So if you look at the origin, the potential energy is 10 Joule. So here I'm just writing down the 10 Joule, the potential energy. And we need to find out the kinetic energy at this point, And we do not know the kinetic energy. So I'm just writing down Ke4. And the 4 here means the location at a distance of 4 meter. But we know the potential energy at this point. And you can read from the graph, it is about 20 joule. So I'm just writing down the 20 joule. Now if you solve it, what you get is the kinetic energy at this point is 10 joule. So what you see here, um, at this point the kinetic energy was 20 joule. But at this point, the kinetic energy has only 10 Joule. But the total energy has remained exactly the same. So what is happening is the kinetic energy is changing into the potential energy. And the potential energy is again changing into the kinetic energy. So that's what we call the conservative system. The energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. But it can simply be transferred from one form of energy to another form of energy. In this particular case, what is simply happening is kinetic energy is changing into the potential energy and the potential energy is changing into the kinetic energy. So the second part is asking is, what is the speed of the object? What is the speed of the object at 10 meter right here? So we need to find out the speed. So how do we find the speed in order to find the speed we need to know what is the kinetic energy at this point. So let's again use the conservation of energy. And you know now how to approach. So how do you approach? 
the approach is first we will find out the kinetic total energy at this point and the total energy at this point because the total energy at any point has to be exactly the same so total energy at origin and the total energy at 10 meter has to be exactly the same and at this point we already have calculated the total ener kinetic energy plus potential energy and kinetic energy plus potential energy at 10 meter the kinetic energy at origin is 20 and the potential energy is from the graph which is again 10 and the kinetic energy because we are now interested in finding the velocity or the speed so the kinetic energy is given by half mv 10 10 simply means at this location at the 10 meter and the potential energy at this point you can see from the graph the potential energy is 5 joule so if you solve for half mv 10 square what you get is 25 this is 30 minus 5 so it is 25 the mass is given half m the mass is 5 kilogram v 10 square 25 so if you solve for the velocity or the speed you'll get 3.16 meter per second so that is the speed of the object at this point now what i would like you to do one more thing is find out by yourself what is the speed of the object at this location and at this point at two points find out the speed all right and just without doing the math get a sense the speed of the particle will be greater here or here that's the question so if you're doing this problem try to guess where is the speed i'll call this point a and cal and this point b and write down your answer in the comment section below where is the speed greater at point a or at point b so this is it for from the potential energy graph again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much